I'm very uh, glad now to be an Eames scholar and uh, not an Eames collector and to leave the Eames collecting adventures uh, to others. Um, uh, this is uh, this uh, wonderful set with the black top and red on red Eames armchairs from 1971 is a uh, a great uh, opportunity to talk about uh, some of the adventures of, of collecting. Now, um, uh, in my collecting days, I was uh, uh, super active, as many collectors are, and when people would ask me if I added something new to my collection, uh, I w often would say, what time is it? Because it would happen on a basis that was uh, uh, almost that regular. and. Um, this was something that when I first came across this set in a uh, antique uh, gallery with the uh, black top and the four red on red chairs, I was quite intrigued by it, but it took me some time to fully appreciate what a great example of Eames designs uh, this was, and also to um, absorb the lessons that I'd been learning from uh, uh, experts in the field of antiques, which is to have an original set of the four chairs and the tables that came with it was an exceptional uh, thing and, and, and uh, added value to these pieces beyond the, uh, uh, the individual parts. It took me about six months of looking at this set to decide that I wanted it. And on the day that I decided I wanted it, I went into the antique gallery and I saw only two chairs with this uh, black top table and I said, where are the others? And the dealer said, well, I sold them. Now, I was shocked because I thought that was very irresponsible of him to break up a match set of four chairs. And at this point, being a, uh, a committed uh, uh, collector wanting to own this set, I offered the dealer some money and I said, look, introduce me to the person who bought the other two so I can keep the set complete. And he said, no, 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 I won't do that. And he said, she's not very easy to deal with. And besides, she's uh, going to tire of it eventually. It'll come back on the market, and you can have it then. Well, I was really unhappy. But since I had made up my mind that I wanted this set, I took his advice. I bought the two, and I bought the black top table. And by the way, while this is a uh, production model Eames table with the contract base, it has a couple interesting features. Uh, you'll see that this by 71. They were offering the contract base, uh, which you see on the chairs, in a larger size. And this customer ordered a custom uh, uh, black laminate top. Mostly these came with the white laminate top. So I get these home, and I've got them. But now I've got the collector's uh, dilemma, which is it's not complete. I have to have the other two chairs. And I was very, very unhappy that I didn't have them. Now, time went on probably another two years, and I came up on a New Year's Eve and I made a resolution which collectors shouldn't uh, make because you're bound to break it. I resolved one New Year's Eve, no more collecting. I wasn't going to buy anything. Now, I stuck to that resolution until February 14th, and I was driving down uh, La Brea, and I saw in a consignment shop my missing two red chairs, and I could hardly concentrate on my breakfast meeting. As soon as the breakfast meeting was over, I ran, a, I ran, ran into the consignment shop, and. These are dated examples, and uh, each one of them has this uh, uh, wonderful original label on the bottom, and it's dated August 9th, 1971. And as soon as I uh, discovered that the two in the consignment shop window had the August 9th, 1971 date, and they were red on red, I thought, aha, the uh, owner who bought them has decided to sell them, and now I've completed this set of four chairs. I, I didn't even negotiate with the owner, with the new, with the consignment shop. I just thought this is fantastic. Now I've got my complete set. So another year goes by and I'm enjoying this set of chairs and I was at a, uh, a furniture auction and I met this young woman who uh, decided that I needed to meet her best friend and, and she arranged a blind date with me and she said, you're going to really like this woman. She's got the uh, same interests that you have. So I agree to go on this blind date, and I arrive at the young woman's home, and uh, she invites me in, and she'd heard that we both shared an interest in Neem's designs and modern designs, and she said, I want to show you something. And she takes me up to her home office, and you know, this is a you know, collector's dream, not, you know, not, not to be led somewhere else, but to be led to see more, more things. 
And there she shows me two red on red chairs. And I look underneath, she had my missing two red uh, chairs. Now, the thing is, because of what I had done earlier, I already had a complete set of four, and she had thrashed hers. Uh, she had uh, you know, used and abused them, and uh, while uh, these four, which uh, have you know, performed wonderful service for 40 years, when she plucked those two off of this uh, set, um, she just used them Im improperly, and they were thoroughly thrashed, and she actually tried to sell them to me. Um, and I'm not sure if this was the only reason. Uh, I don't think it was just because the uh, uh, condition of the chairs was so poor. Uh, we ended up not having a second date, and I had a complete set of, uh, uh, of four red chairs. Not sure what the lesson of that is, other than that you go on some pretty interesting adventures when you start to collect. <laughs>